Reese Witherspoon keeps herself busy, whether it's acting, producing TV shows and films, or raising her family. And all of that even isn't enough. She also loves real estate and spent a good part of 2022 snatching up properties at a frantic pace, both in Nashville and Los Angeles. Over the last few years, Reese's homes have been coming and going, including recently buying and then selling a stunning Brentwood mansion and letting go of her former Malibu getaway. Records show that the actress spent nearly $30 million buying up at least four new homes this year alone, three of which are in her native Nashville, Tennessee, where she already owns a handful of nearby properties. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses. And even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Reese Witherspoon is an actress and producer who's won plenty of awards and accolades over over her career, including an Academy Award and two Golden Globes. Not to mention she's ranked time and time again among the world's highest paid actresses and one of the richest at that, with an estimated net worth of $400 million or more. With her fortune, Reese has bought and sold some gorgeous estates across the US. She formerly owned a farm in the Malibu foothills, an abode in Pacific Palisades, and even a place in Ojai, but has sold all of those. She even offloaded her Brentwood mansion for $21.5 million after barely even living in it, if at all. Reese refilled her property portfolio during the beginning of 2022, purchasing about four new homes. Even though she already owns a handful of Nashville homes, she and her hubby Jim Toth bought a stunning 18 million four acre spread in an exclusive part of the city too. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, looking at where Reese Witherspoon calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. In May 2022, Reese Witherspoon sold a mansion in Brentwood, Los Angeles, which she had only purchased two years prior or for just under $16 million. The Oscar-winning actress got $21.5 million for the elegant estate, and it's hard to tell if Reese and her family ever even called the place home, or it was simply a property to flip. During her brief ownership, Reese did quite a bit of work to the 10,343 square foot home. Comparing photos from the time she purchased the abode to the more more recent listing materials show that the actress gave the mansion a new look with fresh new paint and brighter trim inside and out. Not to mention, interiors boast new marble floors in the entryway, new white oak hardwood on the stairs, and in the living room, you'll find new wrought iron railings too. There's also a library that's been painted in a stunning shade of blue and the lavish chef's kitchen was completely redone too. Reese's former home is tucked away on more than three lush acres in the exclusive Mandeville Canyon area, one of the best in Brentwood, and it's hidden behind a large and secure gate. The English country style mansion boasts a circular motor court out front and inside there are seven beds and nine baths throughout. The estate even comes with a separate service entry and driveway which is also gated. The mansion was built in 1983 and once inside there's a double height open entry hall which now boasts checkerboard marble flooring and an elegant staircase that leads up to a spacious landing. Common rooms include a living room with fireplace, the library, which was once wood paneled but is now blue, a formal dining room, as well as a cozy breakfast room off of the kitchen. After Reese's recent renovations, the updated kitchen now has new stone counters and designer appliances. Listing materials state that all of the bedrooms have their own en-suites, including the two guest quarters on the main level. The impressive master suite is upstairs, along with the rest of the bedrooms, but it's located in its very own owner's wing. The master bedroom has high vaulted ceilings and a massive private sitting area, along with dual baths and dressing rooms. Outside, the park-like grounds are stacked with rolling lawns and mature trees, as well as gardens and a limestone bar area with seating for alfresco meals. Of course, there's also a large saltwater swimming pool and spa, an outdoor kitchen, and a large outdoor fireplace, which warms some of the terrace 
businesses. Despite selling off this home, Reese and her husband Jim purchased those new properties more recently, one of which was in LA. So let's move on to her new places next. For the first half of 2022, Reese went on a home buying spree, purchasing at least four homes if not more. One of these places is in Los Angeles, while the rest are in her native home of Nashville or nearby, which is where Reese already lives with her family part time. Most of these purchases were done in off market deals, so photos of the properties are slim. However, we do have some details about them. Starting with the Los Angeles home, this was actually the second purchase Reese made, spending around $5 million for a modest ranch house. Also in the Brentwood neighborhood, close to the Mandeville Canyon abode we just checked out. Records show that this home offers four bedrooms and three baths, along with 2,600 square feet of living space all across a single level. The home wraps around a concrete patio and a dark bottom swimming pool, also situated past a long and private driveway for security. It's unknown whether the home is for Reese and her family to live in or if it's for another family member or if the 1959 built abode is a project to flip. While the main estate that Reese and her husband purchased appears to be a mansion in Nashville that they spent $18 million on, located in an exclusive part of the city. While we have yet to see interior photos, this sounds like the family home that Reese will spend most of her time in when in Nashville. According to records, the gated estate sits on almost four acres of land with a 15,000 square foot main mansion. We also know the house was custom built in 2020 by the couple who sold it to Reese. And other features on the sprawling property include a detached pool house, full sized tennis court with a viewing pavilion, and a spoon shaped swimming pool. All of this is surrounded by gardens, trees, and rolling lawns as well. The mansion is close to parks and charming spots to get a bite to eat or go shopping. And while the inside of the house is a mystery, Reese seems to like traditional style homes with chic and more modern decor within. The following property Reese bought in Nashville is a historic building downtown on a busy street full of commercial properties. This 1870 built brick red home has potential for retail or residential use and would make an ideal office for someone like Reese who has her own brands and a production company. Regardless of her intentions for the place, it cost her $4.2 million and it was renovated recently, offering a 3,000 square foot front house with a kitchen and a second building at the back, this one spanning 1,300 square feet of space. To round out her property shopping spree, the actress bought a humble home in Franklin, Tennessee a quiet Nashville suburb for 672k. This house boasts 2,200 square feet of space along with three beds and two baths, while the exterior brick has been painted recently. The home, which backs onto a golf course, is also likely an investment for Reese or for a lucky family member. Aside from these, Reese still maintains another Nashville mansion spanning 8,400 square feet, as well as two smaller homes in the area which are also said to be for family. Before we wrap this up, let's see a quick look at another place Reese sold a few years back, her former vacation getaway in Malibu. This property was sold in an off-market deal for just over $6.7 million, which means Reese made nearly 500 k more than she paid for it the summer prior. This picture-perfect hobby farm property sits on about two acres of land and offered multiple structures, and while the home was originally built in 1950 as a humble mid-century ranch, it was modernized and renovated by a couple who used it as a wedding venue venue before Reese moved in. In recent days, interiors include a boho chic style with an open plan living areas and three vintage inspired beds and three baths throughout. The home is located creekside down a private and fully gated driveway. Inside this Malibu pad, there was also a galley kitchen with top of the line appliances as well as living and dining rooms with white beamed ceilings and hardwood floors. Aside from the main house, also on the property, there was a barn style guest house full kitchen as well as a separate art studio and screening room with plush couch and web bar in another structure nearby. Outside there were well-maintained horse facilities all close to miles of trails. And the Instagram worthy spaces don't stop there. There were orchards, gardens, and plenty of patios for outdoor dining. Despite Reese Witherspoon buying and selling so many properties in her real estate portfolio, it appears that she and her family enjoy Nashville and Los Angeles best. Well that concludes this house tour. Be sure to let me know what you thought of Reese's homes in the comment section below. As usual, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!